Welcome back to episode 3 of our wizard playthrough for the Legends mod. Um, we're doing pretty good at the moment. We've got quite the well-rounded party, nice amount of ranged characters. Um, we're being a bit ballsy and taking a bunch of 3-star quests though, so <laughs> we're kind of paying off with that and winning them all. I think we lost a few people though along the way, but you know, sacrifices have to be made. Um, we got a good amount of money stuff to sell, good amount of weapons and a couple of cloths to sell and see how we go with it. Um, but for the moment, we're just trying to get a bit more money, um, maybe increase our party size this episode because we're sitting on 14 and kind of wanting a couple more. But for the moment, we're not really okay with losing anybody because we've got a few mediocre tanks. we got a few people that are going to come with us to late game um, and technically a mega tank. But for the life of us, we never find anybody with shield mastery. And that's just annoying. But our mage is doing great. We're really happy with him. We're happy with the mind of her body. We're happy with everything that's going on. So let's just get into it and keep going. Um, this Alp quest is still here from last time, and we are not equipped to do Alps. So let's just keep traveling and see if we can find someone else who pay us for something we can do. Right, we've got a one star quest. To find a location? Sure. Why not? Is there anything else we need to buy from here? Not really. They're really not selling anything good. Tools are expensive. If we finish the quest, maybe the cloth will go cheaper? Uh, to the north. So it's probably like the tree line? Oh. Even closer. Fair enough. We just got 300 bucks to walk like... 50 meters. And this... Oh my goodness. This three-star caravan quest is still here from last time. And I'm actually considering it. It's five days, which is ridiculous. But it's giving us $4,000 just to sit around and do nothing. Most of our food won't last that long, except for just the mead. So we got to sell our food off buy a couple of these grains. Yeah, just so that if we get there at night time, we can eat something before people leave us. Also, the cloth rolls did go down. Sweet, we'll take those. We'll take just the two food. There's nothing good to sell here. They're only selling for 18. Hopefully we get better sales up north then. And we get free food and free money for doing a just sitting and doing nothing. Oh, sweet. We got um, the renown that we needed to get noble contracts and finished our ambition. Gotta love noble quests. Okay, ambition time. Uh, not goblin locations? Maybe? Rally the troops? Mm, that's gonna be tricky. We don't really have a dedicated banner. And then five city-state quests. Wow. We really don't have many choices, do we? Maybe the easiest one is to get Rally the Troops. Yeah, probably. I wish we got better ambitions, though, but Rally the Troops seems to be the best one. I mean, our mage could get Rally the Troops, but it's kind of a waste of a perk this early in the game. Who could possibly get it? Maybe one of the decent front lines just to waste a perk. So we can finish the quest. Or if we um get enough XP from this quest, just hire some random guy. To just be a temporary banner. Because we do like taking temporary banners, just in case. Because last uh, season, our banner was just temporary the entire time. Wow, thanks for saving us from the Hexen, guys. That would have been a tricky fight. I don't like fighting Hexen. Not early game. Late game, Hexen aren't too bad. But early game, whew. They'll control all your men. But when those mercenary companies, or the companies that work for the towns, like the militia or the town guard, it's so nice when they beat up the enemies for you. 
there's some really hardcore strategies that some people do where they can lure um, these sorts of guys to locations and actually assist in the battle or lure other things to locations and assist in actual quest battles. Oh, come on barbarians, fight us. And that sort of strategy is really, really strong if you can pull it off. But look at that, we got 300 XP and 4,000 bucks to do nothing. We literally didn't have a fight. And we got paid 4k for it. And paid food the entire time. That's insane. And everybody gets a level up. What the heck? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, Frontline's going to be defensive. Let's start adding all the stuff you need. Uh, Battleforge sounds great. Okay, Mega Tank. Let's go with some Resolve. Oh, you leveled up twice. That's how good the XP was. Sweet. Um, defensively, there's really not much to take. I'd consider getting Anticipation or Dodge. But as a tank, your Dodge is going to be useless. So maybe like Rotation? To save people's lives? Yeah, I don't think anticipation is that great, so we'll go rotation. And then your second choice, underdog's great. Mr. Duelist, nice max roll on the defense. And we want more of that. Oh, you're almost leveled up there. Again. Uh, nimble, please. Decent front line, so we're going tanky with you. I don't like the plus two, so we'll go with the health. Oh, you're 4 XP off of leveling up again. I think Underdog's the right choice for Frontliner. Mace, why do you keep rolling ones? No, no, we're not doing the one. We're not doing this defensive thing with you anymore. We're going with the max health, max resolve. I can't believe how many ones he's rolled on his defense. I think he's rolled every single one except for one. Goodness me. Um, as a two-handed mace, he's got his quick hands, he's got his lithe. Maybe double strike is what he needs. Mr. Early Tank. Uh, plus three. I don't like the plus two, so we'll go with that. Uh, rebound on a tank. Yes, please. Um, Cleaver. Plus three defense. Very nice to see. And... Sadly, only a plus three there. We'll go for the plus four when he ever gets it next. And he got it now. Sweet. Dang, plus one defense. Maybe go with the fatigue instead of the one defense? No, we're worried about you. We want you to have as much defense as possible. Uh, we'll go gifted to give you even more defense. Sweet. Sweet. Oh wow, you got another level? Holy crap. From here on, all you need is just... You've got great resolve. You just need fatigue, and you're set. Awesome. Um, Let's see. Recover is a must. Cleaver spec is a must. Oh, and that's it. You're full. Okay. Uh, Two-handed mace. Nice plus four in defense. Nice, plus four in health. Plus four in defense again. Aw, oh, sad one roll. You have 30 defense, man. Let's put you in the front line. I can't believe how good this guy's getting. We're very happy with him. I don't have backstabber for him. That's sad. But other than that, he's doing amazing. Let's give you underdog. And nimble. Sweet. Now, Mr. Dagger, you're doing very good. Quick hands. Into... We're trying the Net Mastery build, I think. Because we've already spent the um, point on quick hands. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do the net mastery build. 
And because we have a net, I think. Yeah, we do. We can go dagger net. And should we give him double strike or should we give him the mastery first? Probably the mastery first. And Mr. Polearm. We're very happy to say that you have clarity now. And we'll give you the banner, because that's a polearm, and this is weirdly enough a spear. Don't know why it is, but it is. Um, our ranged people, good rolls. Very good. And that's two levels, very good. Oh my goodness, he got three levels. <laughs> so much XP. We'll go gifted, which gives him even more. He's at 80 range skill. That's insane. Um, what can we give you? We can't give you Bullseye. We can give you Recover, which is what you need, and we'll give you Sling Mastery. Sweet. Mr. Range, good job on your roll. Sadly, on the defense roll. Oh, another level? Good, good. Not too bad. We'll go um, Wind Reader. Yep. Puts you up to 82. Very nice. And what do we go next? That's the tricky question. Uh, recover. Because you need recover as well. Plus three, plus two, not bad. You're falling a bit behind now. Because these guys get Wind Reader and stuff. You don't get Wind Reader. That is unfortunate. You have your recover, you have your three sling things. Uh, what do you need? That's the trick. Uh, we could go Colossus to give you more health, um, but I think Lithe is your only really defensive option. And Camouflage and all that's not super helpful. Yeah, we'll go Lithe. And Mr. Mage levels up. Wonderful. Good rolls, man. And you're almost leveled up again. Let's increase our size. And be happy with the possibility of getting a hunter or something else on our side that we will keep alive this time, you know? Okay, what's the quests? Tier 1, fighting orcs. South of Vard. Where the heck is that? Oh my goodness, you want us to travel over there to fight orcs? No. That's too far away. Nightmare... Oh my goodness, Alps for... 3,900. No. No way. Especially if a demon alp comes through. Because that's the legendary alp. Um, demon alps are practically broken at the moment. They don't work. And they'll crash your game. But besides that, demon alps are very painful. If they don't even crash your game. Um, these two famed weapons are pretty awesome. No damage boost on that one. But 28% chance to hit the head on a flail is amazing. That one's got a nice damage boost. Wonderful. But I just noticed, there's a parrying dagger here for a decent price. I think we'll take it. Because we're trying out this dagger build. This dagger build relies on having a parrying dagger to switch into after you use the throwing net. So you capture the enemy, which gives you a practically 100% chance to stab them th with the puncture. And then you use the parrying dagger to have them parry you when they miss you. And to also go for a good puncture. And surprisingly, the parrying dagger does more damage than this dagger. But yeah, we'll see how we go. Throw the nets. Try and puncture people down. It should work on people who have tons of armor. Not monsters and stuff. Uh, sadly, we're not selling very well here. And we've got to take a quest somehow. Uh, we need food. Nice, the food here is very cheap. Also, there's a lot of camps. We don't need those. Ooh, the tools are cheap too. Oh my goodness. 175 with worth 200. I haven't seen tools that cheap in like forever. Okay, I think we're ready to go. And also ready to check out, I forgot, if there's anybody here. There's a thief with... Mm, Nothing. Yeah, you're not really worth it, bud. 
And neither is the butcher. Okay. Let's move on. We're rich. We got tons of money. Tons of levels. Very happy with how we're going. Yeah, we can fight some barbarians. Sure. Why not? Get even more XP. And it's raining, so supposedly, as usual, no, doesn't fix it. Chain Lightning still doesn't have its boost in rain, so yeah. Don't believe everything you read, sadly. Um, we kind of want to rush them, but then we kind of don't. Because I want them to not lose their throwing weapons. Because javelins are so good. Crude javelins are garbage, but those javelins are good. So I think we risk our... Oh my goodness. Put those on. I think we risk putting ourselves in a slightly bad position to get a good reward. Yeah, hit him. Nice. 51, 41... Okay, 51. Fair enough. Uh, let's go up and assist. Uh, Cleaver, what do we do? 71. Nice hit. Nice. Headshot. Let's go and dagger him down. I don't want to waste the net on this guy. So either we dagger him down for 36 or hit him for 52. Hit him for 52. And then switch out this parrying deck. We have quick hands. What? Oh, you can't do... You can't switch weapons for free, it's only moving them in and out. Oh, that's painful. Fair enough, fair enough. I was wondering why it couldn't just automatically switch them out. Because the game doesn't let you do two things at once, which is kind of stupid. Good kill on the dog. Let's rush him there. Stun. Nice. Good kill. Dang, you missed a 70, man. Good kill. Uh, Mr. Mage, who do you want to hit? 81%? Sure. Good job on missing there, bud. Well, I guess you can try again. Eh, it did a little bit of damage. Okay, I'm worried about you two. I really am. Put you in a dangerous situation there. Okay, you're doing fine. Except she keeps losing her morale. Uh, we'll hit him. Oh, we can rotate. Save her there. Shields up. Nicely played. Uh, we'll come into the middle and help here. We'll shoot at you. Nice headshot. Nice kill, Mr. Dagger. No, that wasted action points. Equipping something. Oh, why does Legends mod have to be difficult? Okay, so because Legends mod is broken still, I can't quick hands the parrying dagger. So this build is completely broken. Should have gone with the mace, but we didn't know. And then it says plus 40 defense when there's only a single enemy. Within two tiles. Oh, within two tiles. What? That makes no sense. 
Okay, I think it's... We've tried, we've tried our best. We really have. But daggers are just completely broken in Blazing Deserts and in Legends mod. So another thing I just can't recommend people to play, sadly. Good kill. Let's go help them. Oh, that's what you wanted to do, man. He's rolling on 5% against us, though. So seemingly the pairing dagger still works? Somehow? I don't know. Okay, let's go for lightning. Beautiful lightning. And what are they rolling on? 5%. It's good. Our tanks are doing their job. Good kill, Mr. Cleaver. Mrs. Cleaver, whatever. Oh, he does have 20 defense. I am so confused. And now he has still 20 defense. I don't get it. I don't get it why the tooltips are always wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry. Just hopefully when you play, you can notice some of these situations ahead of time. And learn from my mistakes or my problems here. Our ranged people are completely useless in this fight, so we just have to skip their turns. Uh, we'll try and rush them up here. Come on. Let's go. Good, good, good. Run this way. Run this way. Dang it, you missed another 87, girl. And a 75. Uh, Mr. Mage, we want you to kill him specifically. But I don't think I can hit him because I moved into a bad spot. Okay, let's go here in Lightning. And missed an 80. Ay ay ay. Let's rush that. Dagger. Oh, three times. That's right. Good, that fixed your morale problems. You can't get there in time, and you should get the kill soon. Good job. Nice fight. Um, learning sad things about daggers, but still a nice fight regardless. A little bit of money. And we didn't take much damage. A little bit. Oh, XP levels. Nice. Decent Duelist gets plus three. Congratulations. I think we should go for the plus four health, because we have the opportunity. Is it right time? Is it the right level to get Duelist? What else would we need? We have the Nimble. We have Berserk. No other defensives that will help us. How's your defense sitting on at the moment, buddy? 19. Ooh, that's a bit low. Do we get dodge? No, that's not the right choice. I think we just go duelist right now. It's risky. But it's probably the right choice. Uh, 50 helmet? Who wants a 50 helmet? Everybody's fine. You could get a 50 helmet. Uh, those types of weapons and stuff and shields are pretty useless. The armor might be worth breaking down and seeing what's in it. Yeah, sure, the attachments aren't bad. Congrats on your level, buddy. Plus four, plus four. Because we don't need any more resolve, because he's uh, fearless. So you've got good resolve there, bud. Um, defensively... Sadly, not much. But I think Lithe is the right choice. Lithe is just a really good 30% chance of them having to try and attack you a second time. It's kind of like a dodging sort of thing. It doesn't seem to happen too often, but I mean, it's better than nothing. 
Okay. Whoa, what's that event? Preparing a feast. Oh, they're buying food. That's not super common, that event. Not common at all. Uh, let's do a bit of salvaging whilst we're here. Wait for the morning. Oh, we have a thief. We Or pit pocket. Um, this event is a nobleman who's got something rich, a jewelry around him. And you have a chance of robbing him and hurting your reputation a little bit, which is not worth it is usually worth it. Um, but if you have a thief on your team or a pit pocket, you can get it for free. With a little bit of money as well. Oh wow, we got silver wheel as well. We got like almost a thousand bucks from that. If we sell it properly. That's amazing. We need to hit the nobles soon, because we're going to cash in a ton of money. Not the nobles, the um, southern city-states. Also, nobles are still great. We really don't have that much food. Um, selling here is not great at 16. There's nothing really to buy. I mean, a 55 is not bad for 93 bucks. Do we need it? Yeah, we do. Eh, there's not much else. Okay, so. Let's give our guys a bit better armor. You're wearing a good one, I can see underneath. That's a 55 underneath. Ah, I don't know if yours is good. That's a 30. That looks better. Yours is the crosses underneath. Yours is also a 30. Good job. Got good armor for all of you guys. Our rangers have half decent armor. That's a 25 base. That's a 30 base, which we can give 35. 65, that's 65. Okay, everyone's sitting on good armor. Very happy to see. Everybody has a 50 helmet or higher. Very good to see. Anybody to add to our team? A militia? Nope. Absolute garbage militia. And these two are not worth it. Let's move on. Maybe fight somebody along the way. Maybe more barbarians will try and hit us. Nah, no footprints. Okay. Uh, poacher, maybe? No, I'd rather spend my money on a hunter. Let's only look for melee people. And hunters, obviously. Very cheap roots and berries. Uh, maybe we'll buy the ground grains. We're already eating through our fresh meat, so I don't need to buy more fresh meat. Um, these medical supplies are insanely cheap. And so are the tools. I normally don't buy this many supplies, but having us stocked up right now is really helpful. Very happy to see that. Look at us go. 200. And medical supplies at 129. Not bad. Food's doing really well. What's the quest, people? Follow the tracks. Yes, please. Unfortunately, it's 1500, so it's going to be a hard follow the tracks. But I mean... We can take it. Our team's doing well. Um, how much are we selling at at the moment? 16. Ouch, that's horrible. East, shall we? 1500 bucks. It's probably barbarians. No, it's brigands. All the way up here, eh? Oh. Yep. Great. Necromancer! No wonder it was 1500 bucks. And we're not playing the assassin, so we can't go assassinate the um, necromancers easily. But we had a really good start. We're all on the top of the mountain. And the necromancer, I think, is down b the below the mountain. Okay, we need to push up a little bit. Oh, but they're pushing on us. How do we do this? We go here. And wait. Oh, it's snow. Damn snow. 
Okay, out of everyone we can hit. I think we wait. Because we want to snipe the Necro really badly. Should we go up and give him two attacks with a spear? No, we probably shouldn't. Oh, boy. We are outnumbered pretty badly. And there's miners, and there's everything. Ay, ay, ay. Dagger guy, what are you gonna do? Charge the front line. Duelist, where are you gonna go? Mr. Ultimate Mace, I don't want you to get wrecked down here. Oh, but then I don't want you to get wrecked by the miner either. <laughs> Difficult decisions. I think we move one space with you. And Decent Frontline can rush the center to try and distract them. That's probably the right choice. Um, early Tank can rush the front, that's fine. We'll go here. And Mr. Two and Mace, we don't want to lose you, but we'll put you here to be safe. Oh, you have um Pathfinder, so sweet, you can hit someone. Stun, please. Dang it. We can't hit the Necro from here. Let's go here. No, we can't hit anything just yet. I don't even know if we can hit the Necro from just moving up two spaces with these guys. That's the reason why we push the front line a little bit. Oh, stop doing this to us. I hate it when the game does that. One, two... No, I don't even think these guys can reach it. Seven tiles on even ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can't reach the Necro. Oh, this is so painful. We've wasted all this effort to not even reach the Necro. I think we have to start killing. It's really bad to start killing people against a Necro. Yep. Okay, we do it. Lightning, please. Nope, you missed. Okay, they missed. That's good. Maybe she can detect Decapitate down there, and then maybe he can't res. Uh, I knew he'd jump in there. I'm worried about the him getting wrecked. Um, 77, 72. Stun. Stun, please. Thank you. Good hit. Oh, we can hit him! Oh, it wasn't in vain. Please kill the Necro. Okay, we'll wait. We wait till the Necro dies. No, you missed. Woman. That's bad. Man, he's getting wrecked. Uh, please kill him. One more. Yes! We assassinated the Necro. Just barely. Okay, we're ready. Shields up. Please kill someone. Uh, we're worried about him. Okay, let's now start killing everyone. 85, 75. Let's kill him. What?
Nice stun. No, oh, don't break our shields, please. We don't like that. Oh, we're meant to do... Oh, I keep forgetting. We're meant to do our stupid dagger build with the throwing stuff. Also, please hit the 63. Yes, the lightning wins! Also, we don't have recover, so let's not waste attacks. Okay, time to clean up all the kills, please. Thank you. Good kill. I mean, you can't argue with 80%, but then also that guy, he's already wavering. 81%? He's already running. Let's go for this guy. Nice. This 272s. Come on, guys. Wow, what a headshot. Oh, you missed, but okay. Yeah, worried about him. Let's knock him away. See ya, bud. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to have a shield on our ranged characters. It's so nice. We're not going to have it forever, because we like the Nomad Slings better. Uh, let's stun you. Wait, and then stun him again. Nice kill. Good job, Mr. Dagger. Um, we need to hit 82. And we were worried. I mean, for right reasons. Because <laughs> we were in a bit of a pickle. Nice, we went for the stun again. Uh, lightning, can we hit anyone? Yes, please. Beautiful. Having the mage on just one flank really just supports that flank amazingly. So when we do our formations, we got to make sure we work on... Remembering who the mage needs to be with. Missing an 80%. Come on, man. Uh, let's go for collateral. Nice. Let's go for the... 66. Okay. Good kill. Good hit. Dang. Uh, we're chasing down you two. Good job. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Dang. Okay, I think... Yeah, those two might escape. We'll have to see how it goes. Wow, he dodged two attacks. Lucky, but... Bugger. Um, who do we hit? Let's hit the raider that's running away. Good shot. Nice head chop. Can we chase him? No, we need him to chase him. So in order to chase him correctly, we'll go here. Recover. Let's go chase that guy. Oh, we can't chase him. Damn. Let's shoot him then. Hmm. Nice, we got him. More XP the merrier, and more loot the merrier. I think he's gone though. He got away. Whoa, he dodged three attacks. I think we can chase... oh, maybe not. The main thing that we need him to do is get shot, and he's out of range of getting shot. No, he isn't. I just can't read it. Come on. Yeah. And this guy's gonna die too, come on. Nice. Wow, he cleaned up. 
And that was meant to be like, what, a tier, tier one quest? <laughs> With a necro? Whew. Great loot. Look at that. Layered armor. 65 base. Got the hammer too in case we need it. Nice. Very nice. And also a nice thralls location for barbarians. Okay. Uh, dagger levels up, which we sadly don't care that much anymore about you, man. We really don't. Also, we're worried about your morale. I keep forgetting that you do need to worry about your morale. Um, <laughs> I guess we go with double strike and lithe. Lithe just to keep him alive. And then we'll get double strike later. Mr. Polearms, good rolls. You have your polearm clarity, your backstabber. I guess double strike's the only thing you really need now, other than battleforged. But battleforged you can get later. Our mage level's up again. Sweet. You're getting very high on the initiative there, bud. It's nice to see. Okay, so, we have enough people. We're not desperate. What do we go for? We can go for Fortified Mind to give us even more mind over body. We're already at 22%. And we're down to 31 fatigue. We can get better than that. Uh, we can also go Clarity to get us two lightnings a turn. But then we don't have... We need Recover. We desperately need Recover. Because we're going to run out of um, Stamina to use the Chain Lightnings. So Recover is the right choice here. Uh, we're very happy with the new helmets. So we will give out new helmets to people that we like. And that looks pretty good to us. Mr. Dagger can have another helmet. You've got a good one. Our archers can wear better ones. And that's looking nice. Mrs. Tank can look at these new armors. Sixty-five base with a forty-five attachment. And a twenty-five attachment's pretty good. It doesn't ruin her oh it does ruin her nimble. Oh, okay. Hmm. Who else has a tier one attachment? You do. 45 for four is not bad. 30 for two is not bad. Okay. So can we survive on the 45 for four? Yes. Okay, so she's pretty kitted out at the moment as our nimble tank. Who else is our tank? Decent Frontline and Mega Tank. Mega Tank we want to have really good armor on. So let's give you a 65. We'll give you a high tier 1. And I swear we had a really good tier 2 as well. You have it there. Uh, good job. Now she's pretty tanky with 150. Um, let's kit you out with a 65 as well, Mr. Frontline. Give you a 45 for tier 1 and 25 for tier 2. I was sure there was a better one. There's a 30. You have a 30 as well. Which I am happy to give you that and you that. That's a 30 as well. Um, yeah, I guess we're okay for armor. Nothing too fancy at the moment. Kind of want to repair some of these things. Don't need those. Don't need that. That's good to repair. We can salvage the weaker armors that we have in our stock. And that's looking pretty good. Okay, let's go get paid for this. Nobody knew. How are they selling for us now? Selling at 16, very bad. 
food is doing okay for us. What's the quest? New noble quest. We have a patrol quest. Yes, the best quest in the game. And a location quest. A long way to the north. I think this patrol quest will be here until we come back, so we'll go to the location quest. For 300 bucks. But yeah, we desperately want that patrol quest. Long way to the north around Hardwater Plains, so it's probably up near these trees or something. Oh, it is. Wow, that wasn't a long way. That was pretty close. Sweet. Please give us the patrol quest. Yes. Felsberg and Tangval. Which way is that? Left or right? Left. Let's go right. <laughs> Because we know that there's a Barbarian location here, so might as well take it. It's just some thralls. Okay, we'll camp the night away. With some nice salvaging. Fight them in the daytime. Because we have good rangers and we want to fight well in the daytime. And yeah, nice. How many enemies? Eight. Well, we need to kill 25 eventually, so 8's not too bad. And we'll just get paid to wipe out people off the face of the earth. And we like doing that. Okay, so, trick is, we'll go out here. Wait. We'll shoot. The top people need a bit more help with shooting and stuff. Really, man? Really? We would love your accuracy. We'd love your accuracy, too, please. Uh, we can actually go for a puncture here. Dang it, we missed. That's okay. And the dog's running, weirdly enough. Um, kind of want to stun him. Okay, I guess today is just missing day, isn't it? Oh, we missed the 83 on the chain lightning as well? <sighs> Goodness me. And the 88. We literally missed like six 80s in the first round of combat. That's so dumb. Okay, let's try it again. Thank you. Another 80. Okay, you finally hit something. Daggers, 91 times 3, sure. That was a 95 that you missed, man. Just letting you know. Oh, boy. Well, we didn't miss the 93, so... Gotta be happy about that. Nice head chop. Nice hit, and nice kill. Okay, so, despite the bad numbers, we still came out on top, got a nice amount of money. Okay, so that's six kills. But there were two dogs. It didn't count? Dogs don't count as kills. Wow. That sucks. Okay, we don't need that. Uh, we got a couple of new armors, so we'll break those down. Four for thirties, that's not bad. That doesn't ruin your nimble, good. 
You're not using nimble, so why not get the four for thirty? Now we look like barbarians. <laughs> That's funny. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so... Is anybody wearing crappy 15 armors? Yes, you're wearing the crappy 15 attachment. We don't like the 15 attachment. It's way too weak. You're the only person left with the 15 attachment. Sweet. And we're all ready to go. Now, where can we pick another fight? We'll go towards the cities we're meant to be going towards. What the heck is this? Did they have a fight? Holding the breath the longest. <laughs> they had a who can hold their breath the longest fight? That's so dumb. I was like, what the heck? I haven't seen this one before. So, you hurt yourself because you held your breath too long and hurt yourself, and you won. So, good job. Very good measure of manliness, even though it was like two women, I think. <laughs> Some of the events are just stupid. But, we're fine. They'll survive. Okay, safe roads. Good job. Can we sell to you guys yet? Selling for 20. Okay, good. We can finally sell some of our stuff that we don't want. And I think, yeah, we're good enough to sell all these things as well. And 180 for that, and we're rich. Look at that. 9,000 bucks. We are on top of it. Um, I probably have been stupid. Yeah, I have been. And didn't upgrade you guys to the boar spears. Which would have been nice to do. You have a fighting spear, so you don't need the boar spear. And you don't need that dagger, because the parrying dagger is better. But then you can attack with the bad dagger? I don't know. You're okay as it is. I think we've given up on your build. So you're just there to do something. Ah, uh, it's sad to see. We might just go with the Mace Mastery. It just puts him so far behind. That makes him two perks behind what he's meant to be. He doesn't have the best defensive, so I think we could still do it. It's still worth trying. We have a wasted character. We shouldn't waste him anymore. Um, we'll keep that mace, then, and put that in your main hand. Because we don't have any other good maces. Yep, we'll do that. So next level, we'll give him Mace Mastery and see if he works better that way as a, du a dagger person. Because we still secretly want to do a dagger person and have them work. Militia? Nope. Very cheap militia. My goodness. And you're bright. Mm, not the miner, though. I'm, I'm interested in this militia. It's only 300 bucks. You never see a militia for 300 bucks. Oh my goodness, she rolled a 62? That's guaranteed 92 attack, with 8 and a high roll on defense as well? Wow, that's the cheapest, best militia I've ever seen. Um, this is an ulti... It could be even a duelist if she gets duelist. Uh, but militia aren't good duelists because they only ever get battleforged, they never get nimble. So you're gonna be an ulti 2H something. Quick hands with Pathfinder, Colossus. Ultimate two-handed flail, because or spear. Do you have reach advantage? No, you got thrustmaster. Dang. Okay, so she's a guaranteed flail master. Ultimate two-handed flail. I don't normally do flails. Because it's hard to find good flails. But congratulations. Got a nice addition to our team. And she gets a good spear. 
She gets a good 65 armor with sadly weak attachments, but, you know, it's something. Yep, that's pretty good. Break that down, break those down. Actually, how much does that fatigue cost? We'll put it in our back pocket just so we don't accidentally sell it. Because I sell flails, like, all the time. <laughs> because flails are usually not something you want to have. So, so I don't forget about her flail. I'll keep it in her back pocket. Wow, that's a nice two-handed hammer. That's a nice S-stock. And the S-stock is stronger than the fencing sword, and we never saw an S-stock when we were doing our assassin build, which is very sad to see. We totally wanted one. Okay, enough about that. What else do you guys have for us? A one-handed hammer? Ugh. Never do one-handed hammers. But at least we can still sell a little bit to them. Okay. Armor, what do you got? Very nice famed armor. Very nice frogmouth helms. They're so cool. They're the strongest helms in the game. And they always look really badass. Such a cool design. Um, scrap tent for 3000 That's not a bad price. But we're not desperate for tools just yet, so... We might find a cheaper one later on. Uh, we're still patrolling, so let's keep looking around. Patrolling for some fights. There's gotta be some barbarians somewhere. Um, there's not much here, is there? We need to return within four days. I say we go and check the north. Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> I mean, we checked and we found some. And the only problem is this is a fight at night time. So I'm going to retreat. Which sounds stupid, but it's the right choice. Because we have four ranged characters in our party, we need to utilize daytime fights as best as we can. The only time we'll ever do a nighttime fight is if we ever fight things like master archers or goblins. And then we'll consider maybe it's better to do night times. But I do believe, because we have such a nice ranged party, we have to utilize it. Come on, guys. You can go faster than this. Let's go. Snow makes everything so slow. But the road is really good. So if you ever fight on the road, you'll always get a road through your map. And it's very nice to be able to walk normally on a road with the 2 AP per turn and 2 fatigue because it's very nice to you. But snow just is so slow. It's 6 fatigue and 3 AP. There you go. You're the slowest, buddy. Come on. Out we go. Okay. We're definitely going to fight these barbarians. Oh, we had a good look. Oh, they're reavers as well. Whoo, that's going to be a tough fight. Many reavers. Okay, it's going to be good loot. It's going to be very good loot. But a tough fight. Okay, come chase us, please. But fight us in the daytime. Because reavers don't usually use ranged weapons that much. Come on, there. Now it says dawn. Now we fight. Drummer, we don't care too much about. But one, two, three, four, five, six reavers. F seven, eight reavers. Nine. Oh my goodness, nine reavers. Two, four, six, eight, nine. We really want those spiked maces. And that hammer. Everything else, we don't care if it doesn't drop, but we really want those maces. Let's wait. They also want those um, javelins. Please, yes. Oh my goodness, they all have throwing weapons. Um, What do we do? I think we go this way. What? Stupid dog. There we go. We try and make sure they th don't throw their weapons. Oh, a scary reaver. 
Let's kill him. Nice. You got him a concussion on the first hit. We'll not complain about that. Okay. So. Can we go here and attack? Yes, we can. 71? Sure. Or not. Oh! Crude throwing javelins? That is the most important thing that we have to grab off of here as well. Not crude, heavy. Heavy throwing gore javelins are the strongest javelins in the game. Oh, she is so surrounded. But I think... Where is she? She's wearing a normal hat with the black, a red and white shield. I'm blind. Why can't I see her on our list? She's right there. Oh my goodness, I'm blind. Um, do you have underdog? Please tell me you do. Good, okay. So she's not as scared. If she didn't have underdog, I'd be really worried. Because she's surrounded. Um, him, I think. Nice. Okay, so. We put the duelist here. Nice. We put you... I don't know. Mr. Dagger can come up and kill the dog, maybe. Actually, no. Dagger might be good against the Reavers. Because of his amazing dagger that keeps him safe. 76 miss. Come on. I want those javelins. How do we get them? I know how we get them. We go here and we knock him out. And we miss? There's no way we're getting that javelin now. Unless we do lightning. Sheesh. How can we miss everything so often? Uh, decent frontline, please tell me you have... Yes, you do have underdog. Sweet. Okay, let's put you in the middle of everything. You can go here. Okay. Now we risk it and go here. Okay. Now we go here. Is that the right play? Kind of worried about them rotating. Probably here's the right play. Good kit, good hit. And now... How do we deal with that Reaver? We can reduce his fatigue. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's go with Daze. Yes, good. Okay. It doesn't make us do damage this turn, which is very sad. But we want those Javelins. They are so hard to find in this game. He's got 30 turns, so we can get to him. Yes, we can. And lightning, please. And we miss. And we miss. <sighs> yep, Reavers is tricky to fight. Um. Okay, there goes his shield. Your shield's going bye-bye. Everyone's shield's going bye-bye. I normally don't kill dogs, but we have four people dealing with that dog, so we have to deal with the dog. Uh, ranged people have to help kill these guys, please. I said please. How do we do this? I need you to get into there, please. So let's kill this guy. Nice, we got someone to hit them. Uh, we go for the stun on the Reaver. Yes, that means you can run up to them quickly. We did it, boys, we did it! Now what do we do? <laughs> we get you to tank. That's your job. And we can hit the Thrall. Almost killed him, too, sweet. Uh, you're brand new, let's not lose you. 
Let's wait and see what happens. Let's go up here and stop him from throwing. Very good. I really don't know what to do now. You're on early tank, so you're good enough. So we go for that Reaver, I think. Uh, Thrall there. Nice, nice. Uh, we could go for the stun. Nice, because we don't want to keep destroying our shields. Um, Dagger bro, where should we go? Go for the stun. We can try a parry. Does it actually hit easily? No, it doesn't. There's no bonus to hit on the parry. How's the puncture? It's 19. Ay ay ay. Let's go for the stun and not get it. Okay, let's double hit. Nice. And he put away his weapon. Good. Okay, we're not doing too bad. I'm... Mm -hmm. Really worried about you. I kind of want to put her here. Then I kind of don't. If I put her here, though, that's safe. Because the Reaver can't move through the snow and hit us. Okay. Okay, you tried to push us away to throw your weapons, and you failed. You don't have a shield. Please, lightning. And we miss. I really don't know why we keep missing. That's okay, that's okay. Nice miss, nice. Oh, he did move in and attack? What? He's got Pathfinder? <sighs> One of these days. Come on, people. Oh, there goes her shield. Oh, that's bad. Dang it. This Reaver needs to die out of everything. But then again, that Thrall can also help break morale. But the Reaver, but the Thrall... Didn't break anyone's morale. Okay. Okay, please kill him quickly. Okay, we got confident out of that. Two seventy nines missed. Congratulations, you're useless. Ugh. Man, we keep going up and down in this fight. Stun. Yes, we stunned him. I kind of want to go for the stun and then go here to challenge these guys. You are very valuable to us. Please don't die. You're confident. You have a shield. He's not confident. Oh, they're all trying to... Ooh, whoa! He hit a 34! Come on! The best play here is lightning here, I think. That's to get the most damage out of it. Oh, thank God he missed. Good job, she got her first kill on a Reaver. Well done. Slowly getting there. Okay, break the shield, please don't. Why did you hit your own guy, man? Nice, the Reaver's dead. Still one more Reaver, though. Okay, they're finally breaking. Please stun. Or not. Uh, we can try and chase the drummer, I guess. We should come over here and help, though. 
We really should. One more hit and she's just done. I don't think she has. <gasps> I should have put someone next to her so she could rotate out. Oh, hindsight is 2020. She doesn't have nine lives. Oh boy, this could go bad. Oh, he missed. And the drummer's running away. What do we do? We daze the reaver. That's what we have to do. He missed. He missed! Ha 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 ha! We can't let you run, but we'll get you after him. So we can't let him run, so we'll get you after him. I still don't know where to put you. We'll wait. That was painful. <sighs> Stun, please. Please. Thank you. Good kill. Um, you're doing okay, so please help up here. Oh, I could have rotated her out, but I don't want to rotate her out into that. Nice. No, that's it for that. I still don't know where to put her. She's just not going to do anything. Nice, we dazed the other one. We don't have enough for another daze, so we'll just finish our turn. Um, you can help here, I guess. There's not much else for you to do. You're still not doing anything. She's not doing well. Nice, you broke his hand. Oh, we can rotate you out now. Guaranteed survival. Oh, that was close. That was really close. I didn't want him to get another lucky hit. Also, this girl is going to freaking die if we're not careful. She's bleeding too. Okay, she's not bleeding anymore. Okay, he misses a 26. Good. We keep missing everything on this guy though. Seventy-two finally hits. Okay, he's breaking. Good. Can we stun? No, we can't. But he's broken. We can go here now. Daze him again. Nice. It's good to have support magic sometimes. It really is. Nice. Nice. He's dead. We're saved. And this guy still doesn't want to die, and we finally kill him. Beautiful XP down there. Beautiful. We got three sets of javelins. We didn't get his amazing javelins? It didn't drop? Are you kidding me? He didn't even use them once. That's like a 95% chance of success in failing it again. But we got the two maces, and we got the hammer. All in all, still a great rewards. We got the Reaver, almost all of the Reaver weapons, which sell for so much. A very good quest. Very good. No, it wasn't a quest. We just got fought in the middle of nowhere. And we got almost maximum rewards. We don't need to take another fight. Two extra heads for 200 bucks. I mean, it's good, but we're not desperate. We're in very bad condition. We're not going to take another fight. Plus two defense, not bad. Good job, Mrs. Phileo, and good job with the plus four there. We will take a Colossus on a Flail for sure. Give you a new shield because you lost yours. Who else lost a shield? You lost a shield. You're a duelist, you don't need a shield. And Mr. Dagger, you're doing okay. 
Okay, let's break those down. Uh, cool helmets, though. The only problem with barbarian helmets like those is they have a lot of fatigue for what they're worth. But I mean, they're still good. She can wear the weird looking one. And the heavy helmet, 145. Yeah, we should put it on our mega tank and give 105 to someone else. Duelist. 95 to someone else. Who needs a 95? Oh, that's negative one vision. No. That's bad. I forgot the cultist leather hood has a negative one vision to it. Okay, that's the best we have for our guys at the moment, sadly. Can't get better than that. Repair these and keep them, because we really want to keep them. Repair these and sell them. Although we do have a cleaver girl. We might give that to her. 40 to 60, 30 to 40. No, this is so much better. Nice military cleaver. Okay, then we're just going to repair these to sell them. And other than the new armors, which I should quickly do this, do this. 35 base is not worth it for us anymore. And a 15 base is garbage. Not too bad. Let's head back to safety a little bit. Quickly camp. Ah, wrong thing. I do love the retinues, but yeah, we can't do that just yet. Sweet! You got a free injury heal. Rad. Very, very wonderful. Okay, we'll do a quick healing of everybody, because I think... No, we're not doing too bad for hit points. There's only these two. Okay, we don't need to camp anymore. Let's quickly check to see if we sell here. Because these guys are selling for 20, which is very nice. Um, why is not everything repaired? That's right. It's going pretty quickly. But I'll wait till morning, so let's train people, I guess, till morning? We got a few XP bonuses, nice. Okay, now we can sell for 20 again still, okay. What else don't we need? Um, if we have this many normal javelins, yeah, we'll still hold the other javelins just in case. Yeah, we're happy. Let's go get our money. If that was barbarians again, they're getting chased. 2700 just for walking around and fighting whoever we want to. Love it. Best quest in the game. Okay, so. What do we do from here? We're running low on food. We do need to stock up. Uh, the berries are very cheap. That pushes us into very good food supplies. We really don't want any of these. Let's start hunting some really good characters. We've got $11,000. We are in the money. Let's go hunting um, through the foresty areas. That's usually the better ways of getting... That's a citadel. Sweet. Um, the better ways of finding hunters is with hunting cabins, which is the trade building right there. But it's also a lot easier in for uh, fortresses and stuff. And unfortunately, it's nighttime, but it's very close to dawn. Wait a couple of seconds. There we go. What do you have for us? Uh, nothing. 
There is two cheap militia. That's garbage. Uh, plus two attack militia. Sure, we'll try them out. We have enough for a sword master. That's pretty awesome. Except for the fact that he costs 54 a day. And the thing is, I don't always love sword masters because they're so hard to get good because they have no health. They've literally got one of the worst health in the game. But one of the best attacks. So, I mean, they're a glass cannon. Maybe if they could be a polearm master, they'd be amazing. But they usually have good defenses as well. So it's just, don't get hit by a crossbow bolt and you'll be fine. But for that kind of money, I'd rather spend it on other people. That's a good brawler. And now we're getting full of people, aren't we? <laughs> And we also need to find a banner. That's right, I keep forgetting. But none of these backgrounds are good for banners. Masons are just garbage. Okay, what did we get? We got a militia. We got... The brawler. What else did we check out? I think that's it. Okay, what's the militia got? 61 attack with 9. Another amazing character. And seeing as Militia never get nimble, as always, you can't make them into good duelists. So we go unlimited, ultimate, unlimited, ultimate 2H, and with stun resistance too, stun immunity. We'll see how we go. Um, she has the opportunity to be a polearm master with clarity, but she has good defense, so we should utilize it. So we will go two-handed something. Oh, but there's no Colossus. Sad days, but there's Rebound, so definitely 2H. Okay, what are you, Mr. Brawler? You are disappointing. That's what you are. You have Brute, which is awesome for Flails. You don't have Polearm Mastery, so you can't use that Clarity to its best ability. You do have Rebound, you've got Nimble. You've got Quick Hands. You've got almost everything needed for a two-hander. Um, but those stats are pretty garbage because of the Brute. So we'll give up on you because we've got a good team and we don't want to have empty slots that are not that great. So thanks for coming and visiting and saying goodbye. We're very happy with you, so we will give you... something. You're okay to put the front line. The flail, we're worried still. I think we can give you just this for the moment. No, wrong person. Give you that. Give you a 55 base, give you a 25 attachment, or 30 attachment, even better. Nice helmet, and we're good. Very happy to see the situation. And all we need is a good hunter. As I keep saying. Um, 3,000 for Scrap Tent again? You keep offering me Scrap Tents for three grand. Ah, we're rich. We'll take it. I do like Scrap Tents. That'll last us the entire game. We'll never get rid of it. And it gives us... For every... 15 durability that you scrap, you get a tool, but with the scrap 10, it's every 10 durability. So it's an extra 33% better. So it makes most of what you salvage even more valuable. Uh, we love Sally Helms, but we don't need to spend that kind of money on it just yet. Any cool weapons? Not really. There's a sword staff, but eh. No famed ranged weapons. Dang. Okay. Let's keep wandering. What are you going to ask us? Green skins around Vard. Where's Vard? It's still that same place. <laughs> no. That's too far away, man. Uh, the best locations for Citadel seems to be this little se selection here. But there's a citadel there, too. Let's safely go through the forest. Nice. 
and check this place out. What do you got for us? Hedge Knight. Hunter. No oh, garbage hunter. Come on. Grave robber. We've got like two grave robbers in our team that are still decent. No, we're not too desperate for melee people. Let's keep keep worrying about our money for something else. Nothing good. Ooh. No. Armory. Nothing good. Okay, what's the quest? Greenskins, no? Yes, greenskins. South of Blank Wasser. Where the heck is that? All the way over there. Can you people stop, stop sending me across the map to do your quests? Okay. Um, where do we go find a good hunter? It was here. I think it's down this way. Might get a quest out of it too. We're doing good for money, so we're not desperate for quests. Blank Wasser again. Hunter! No! Hunter! No! Can you not get a range skill? Come on! Woodcutter? No, they're only melee. Sheesh. Uh, food, we're doing great. We could have bought the berries, but we're still doing great. Maybe buy one? Two? Three? Yeah, that's good enough. Keep on top of our food so we don't forget. Try and find more hunters. That's green skins. Holy crap, that's a lot of goblins. Um, please kill the caravan, don't kill us. Uh, brigand location, yes please. That's a great idea. Three stars to do green skins again. I chose Holy War. Why are there so many green skins? Minding. Mending. Where is it? There. Okay, we can do both of these. There is a Trobador. That is an insanely rare um, background. I never see these. They're very good for banners, but absolutely no good stats on you. Hunter! No! Why are you a melee hunter? A gambler? No. Oh my goodness, we are having no luck with these hunters. We had one hunter in episode one, but we got him killed, so that's kind of our fault. Oh, they get Leap and War Chant. But a greedy, bright... Extra fatigue's good, but you want Resolve because of Mind Over Body. I'm not spending 500 bucks on somebody that's not good enough. Dang. Okay, let's go kill some brigands. We've been wandering around too much and not getting anything out of it, sadly. So let's go kill some brigands whilst we wait. Uh, please don't chase us, Mr. Raiders. Lots of raiders, one poacher. Sweet. And this should be the easy forest, not the hard forest. Yes, this is the easy forest with all the grass. The orange forests always have grass. The green forests always have the horrible grass forest. Not grass, what is it? Like forest floor that takes a lot more action points to get through. So I like the orange forests better. For obvious reasons. Um, they're not going to race us, I think. So we'll just snipe them. Yeah. If you're not coming for us, we'll just sit back and snipe you. We've got better archers. Though I kind of want to move up two spaces. 
to give our archers a better better shot. Including Mr. Um, Mage here. Oh, I probably should have moved there. Yeah, they've got a throwing weapon, but he's only going to reach four spaces, so one, two, three, four. He's not going to be able to throw them yet. Okay, let's go here and hit him. Nice. Because our mage is going to do most of the range damage. Our archers are good, but I mean the mage does better. But yeah, just a ranged battle like this is not a problem for us. A uh, one, two, three, four. He's gonna start throwing, but throwing axes don't do very much damage, especially at range. So we should be okay. Nice hit. Yep. Slightly boring fight, but. This is how we don't take damage. Yep, he's dead. Nicely done. Hopefully someone else comes into his spot and replaces him, because they're trying to defend their archers. That's the way the AI thinks. They always want to have, like, two people in front of their archers. So because his archer's there, he's always going to put someone there. Yep, there we go. And we'll just snipe the next person. It's a good strategy to do. Excuse me. Hmm. We can risk by going here and allowing the other guy to be in this beautiful firing line. Oh, they're rushing us now. Because we have more archers than them. They've run out of ammunition. Sweet. Thanks, guys. Did not expect you guys to rush so early. But you've realized how dire your situation is, and we happily say, come fight us. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it. Come on, guys. Stop missing. Ooh, the hooked blade come through. Okay, let's do this. Um, we stun? Nice. That's not bad. That's a good cleaver. I guess we try and focus this middle a little bit. We want to chain lightning through the middle. But we also want to soft them up with the archers a little bit. Nice days! That's so good! Uh, turn's done, turn's done, turn's done. So we just finish our turn. Yeah, we'll just wait up here. There's nothing important to worry about for this little army up here. Uh, chain lightning, please. Beautiful. And I don't think we'll hit the 40, so we'll just finish our turn. Yep, called it. That's good to see. We now want to hit you. Beautiful. Yeah, that's not scary there, bud. Let's move up and... Stun? Nice.
Um, hmm. Let's go around the side with Mr. Dagger to try and fight that guy. Nice. Nice! Oh, that kind of ruins our lightning, but we'll still hit him with a missile. Come on! Oh, that would have been amazing. Okay, where to? Let's go assist down here. And we don't want that guy to do well. Um, 95 to either of them kills them. But he's slow, so we'll kill him first. Nice. And that instantly routes him. Amazing. Good, we played that right, and he rolls a 5 to hit our dagger guy. So I really like that paring knife. I really do. I just hate that it's a little bit broken the way it works. And how you can't quick hands it. Nice, broken. Uh, 71 to hit. 49 to hit. Yeah, we'll just go with the mace. Come on. Woman, you gotta kill him. Nice. Missing a lot on this guy, but he has his shield up, so it makes sense. One, two, three, four, we can catch him. Or, we just snipe him. Even better. He's down. Nice, new girl gets a kill as well. Beautiful XP. For some people. Other people not as much, but that's okay. We got the amazing military cleaver again. Militia Glaive is nice. Location stuff. 200 bucks. Amazing. We've really... Oh, we might as well join us? Yes, please. I love having that at the end of these types of quests. Just a random guy that could possibly join us. Because it's a free roll on a brother. You, you don't have to pay for it. And you can just get rid of him if you don't like him. And weirdly enough, a miner has the potential... has the big potential to be a banner brother for us. What? That makes no sense, but it works. I've never seen a miner have the chance to be a banner. He's got Rally the Troops, he's got Mind Never Body, he's got Nimble, he's got Clarity. The sad thing is he does not have, uh, what do you call it, uh, Polearm Mastery. But you don't need Polar Mastery, you need Cleaver Mastery and Quick Hands. Oh, he doesn't have Recover. Oh, that hurts. That really hurts. But he does have... he doesn't have Rebound either. Ah, oh, I see. That's why he's not the best in the world. But we'll still keep him. We'll have him has a good banner. Sweet, we just got a free guy, and he turns out to be our banner. And we'll give him the Hooked Blade, because we got that as well from the quest. Give him a helmet, give him some nice armor. Because these are on 65 bases, so yeah, that's good to see. Mr. Polearm can have better armor too. Everything's worth repairing except for that and that. 70 helms are very good for our rangers. Uh, we're running out of daggers, though. 
I'll give you that one. And happy days. That's crazy. He's got good health. His fatigue sucks because Miner's fatigue sucks. So, I mean, with low fatigue and no recover, that's the only real downfall for him. Other than that, he's a good banner. Oh, does he have Fortified Mind? That's the one last thing I needed to check. He does. Good. Good. His only thing holding him back is his recover and his fatigue. Ambushers, stop it. We don't want to fight those guys. We're not in the mood for goblins just yet. Selling for 315? Not really. Selling for 18? Hmm. But buying for 432, that's really good. We should do this Greenskins quest. We're in a little bit of bad shape, kind of. Nice, max roll on the defense. Woo! That's awesome. And she's got good health, so I think we go for the fatigue roll. I mean, the fatigue could be a 5. So maybe we go for the health this time to give her up to past 70. That's nice. Okay, I think we go Clarity here into Nimble. Because she doesn't need quick hands just yet. She's fine. Go Clarity into Nimble and she'll be set. We do have a nice party going. Definitely do. Anybody still wearing a 15? No, that's fine. I think what we should do is we should move out of the way. Oh, not a cannibal. I'll take him in and then get rid of him instantly so I get his free loot. Never recommend cannibals. One, their stats aren't anything fancy. I mean, he's got good attack because he rolled well. But cannibals will start to eat your other men and bite their fingers off, give them permanent injuries... Cannibals are just horrible. Don't. Don't have a cannibal. Unless you want to have fun with it, go for it. I just really don't rec recommend it at all. <laughs> but I got a free cleaver and free cloth out of it, so that's a four tools, four and a half tools. So that's why it was worth having him and then letting him run away. There we go. Quick camp away from here so the goblins don't attack us. We'll head back. Everyone's healthy. Armor is almost maxed out. Why didn't the armor max out? Oh, is it not automatically on repair? Oh, I hate it when that happens. That's a stupid little glitch. It's not a bad glitch, but I mean it's annoying. Okay, let's go fight Greenskins. I think this will be tricky because it's a three-star. But I think it's an important quest to take for us from money-wise, XP-wise, and hopefully hunter-wise. Please give us a hunter. Nope. Okay. Then we go fight some Greenskins. It's goblins. Of course it's goblins. It's 32 of them as well. Uh, Mr. Duelist, please wield a shield. I know you're a duelist, but you're going to get shot. Nothing else will help us here. Then we go into it. Let's hope we don't lose anyone, because we're taking another three-star ballsy quest. Um, most important thing is to have our mage. Wow, how are you faster than our mage? Oh, it's because you're impatient. I want us to lightning a bunch of goblins and one-shot them. They're not approaching. 
Hmm. Wow, you shot and hit the first time. Damn. Okay, we are losing someone today. Oh boy. Nice. Please kill. Good kill. Good headshot. Come on, 38. Go again. Dang it. Mr. Dagger, I think we can risk putting you out in the open. Maybe? We'll put you up there. That's okay. We'll have a little bit of a front line there going. We'll try and bait them into coming up here against us, which is kind of bad for us, but I mean... It hopefully puts them into a spot of melee more than just range, because we beat them in melee, they beat us in range. So we kind of want to fight them in. And also, you're out. You are going to die and we care a lot about you, so please leave. Chain Lightning, please. Hit. Woo! That is good to see. Also, I don't know if that's the right place to put you as a mage. Let's put you here. Keep you in the safe back line. Oh dear. They still have so many arrows against us. We need to break the morale. We're slowly doing it. But we need to break it quicker. Next turn we charge. If they don't charge us, we charge them. These archers need to stop hitting us. They're hitting us with their quick shots as well on 24. 28. Yikes. Okay, so we'll just end our turn now, I think, because that's the end of everybody's turn. Yep, okay. Okay, I like when they quick shot quick shots weaker to hit. Okay, you have to run, buddy. You desperately have to run. Please hit this. Yes! It's breaking morale. Very good to see. They're not charging us so I can move one space forward. Okay, they're backing up a little bit. That's okay, that's okay. We need him out. Man, they really love to focus fire, don't they? Oh, this is taking forever. They've got so many turns, but at least we get our turns soon. Um, we charge with... where do we put you? Yeah, we rush straight down the middle. You can be surrounded because you're a frontliner. Um, we go for... Wow, you guys can't hit nothing. What's the point of having rangers? It is honest that goblins are so hard to hit. You gave our own guy... Mm! You rolled an 8% to hit our own guy in the head and daze her. What is this? 41, come on. Nice. Uh, now we charge down here. Recover as much as we can. You're in good health, so I might as well push you up a little bit. 
Please kill him. 55. Good. They're starting to waver. Their attacks won't hit us as often. Mega tank. We want you up the front line somewhere. Can I jump over that? No, I can't. That's not enough of points. So, do we go through the middle? No, we go up here. And we recover. Our new girl... Um, we want the dagger up here. So we want the new girl here to hit this guy. Nice! Dagger, run to the middle of them. You're a duelist, you can run here. And hit on 33, or not. Frontline can rush up here. Kind of interested in getting you up close as well. Nice! Oh, what a beautiful break of morale. <laughs> Two-handed mace, you're not doing well. But you're doing horrible. So let's put you in the middle of things. And scare those two? or Yeah, those two. Dang it, it didn't work. Another guy to run away. And you are in zero position to do well. Run away. Ha ha ha, he had his own guys. Yes! We like seeing that. Okay, we might just win this. Footwork. Ah, they got out of the way. It allows us to recheck their morale. That's the best part about footwork. Worst part about footwork is they now get to shoot us. What was that shot? Rolled in a 38. Okay, we go here, and we lightning this guy. That breaks and kills two of them, it breaks all of those. Amazing. Yeah, hit our mage, I don't care, man. He's got nimble. <laughs> he killed his own guy! Good, good, let the hate flow through you and kill your own men. I think the only person to hit with the range is him. Nice. Good kill. That broke these guys somehow. Uh, come up here and help there, or should we help here? We don't care about you, do we? No, we care about more with these guys. We can just hit you with archer shots. Um, we'll go here, break you free, or miss, fair enough, nice hit, okay, please keep running, missed an 81, of course, wow, that broke all of them, we win. A lot of them are going to escape, sadly. Yep. We'll try and catch them as best as we can whilst they're running. Okay, where to? Oh, he's not broken. We can have that arranged. Should we do another lightning? We technically should. Oh, we don't have enough stamina for it. Okay, let's just go for the one attack. That breaks these two. Hooked. Please go here and kill him. Go there. Nice. Uh, I don't want to go... I do want to go for the 66, but I also want to go here. Because you have high attack, Mr. Duelist. And you have a good chance of... killing them as they run. Sure, we'll go there. Use the archers on these two. I kind of want to release you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good kill. Okay, you can still chase. That's the good idea there. <laughs> Running away into our archers. Not a good choice, Mr. Goblin. Oh, he rallied. That is a very good thing for us. Um, we want to hit you, I think. Yeah. Good. Stupid zones of control. Okay, that puts you in to stop those three. You gotta help her. You gotta help up here, I think. Nice kill, and that's the rangers all done. Good job. Good kill. What? Nice. They're all dead. I don't know if we can catch that one. Maybe we can. Nice hit. Oh, we can catch him. Sweet. Uh, we'll go here, and we've pretty much caught him. That's good to see. Nice kill, and we caught the ranger. We caught everyone. Goodness me, we've got too many people on our team now. Slightly opposite of a problem, but then it is a problem because there's so many people to skip through. Come on. There we go. Now he's dead. And I think maybe only a couple got away. Look at that loot. Sweet. Rolling in the money, rolling in the loot. And we beat another three-star quest. It just happens. Let's repair all of these to sell them. The little ones aren't worth repairing, the big ones are. Uh, the swords are not worth selling because we now have the upgraded tent, so they're worth tools, which is really nice to see. The good swords are worth selling, of course. And that's a ton of tools for us. Look at that. We might have too many tools now. Uh, decent front line, good roll, and good rolls. Um, we can give you rebounds so you can shield wall every turn. Mega tank. Good rolls, indeed. With Nimble? Ooh. Do we go a Nimble tank or do we go... We got Brawny, so no, we're going Battleforged. Mr. 2H. Beautiful 3 defense. Very proud of you. And, wow, he rolled max rolls on everything. We want the max roll health, but the max roll resolve is harder to get, so we'll get the resolve. Um, you don't have extra health, so we need to work on that later. But to start you off, we like Pathfinder. Good Banner gives plus attack, plus resolve, and plus fatigue. And one more level with this banner, and we'll finish our ambition. That'll probably be the beginning of next episode. Or even when we hand in the quest, it might give us XP. We'll have to double check it. Um, tier 1, you've got nothing, so we'll go Colossus. Decent range, good job. I don't know what to do with this ranger, she's not as good. Do we get... Fearsome? No. Battle flow's not bad. Killing Frenzy's good. Out of all the real options... 
With no quick hands or anything, killing frenzy is the best choice. Slinger and thrower. Good rolls. Nicely done. We want nimble, but we're not there just yet, so we'll go heavy rocks. Mrs. Flail. Nice plus two. Could have been a plus three, but we're not complaining. Too much, at least. Um, I think gifted is the right choice. Always love taking gifted. Um, plus four for the resolve, because that's harder to get, as usual. And we're looking pretty good. Just need to hand in the lovely quest. And did we get XP for handing in the quest? No. Okay. That's not a problem. We're sitting on... Oh, wow, we handed in the quest and the prices went up. Because they got terrified villagers. Because of undead. Mm. We could have made some money. Oh, well. Not a problem. Let's quickly... Do the salvaging 10 hours, repairing 10 hours. Okay, sure. <clears throat> we'll spend the night doing that. We're at 11,000 bucks after spending all that kind of stuff. And look at that, we got 70 tools. That's like $700 worth of tools. After repairing as well. We're back in business, ready to go. And we got a lot to sell, so hopefully we hit some nice place to sell tools. Uh, not tools, uh, weapons at. Because here it's selling for 14, which is not good. There's a brand new noble quest. Oh, these are horrible quests. Don't take these. They ask you to hunt for specific enemies, and they're so hard to find half the time. No, I never take those. Anyways, next episode, we're probably going to go south. Try and find some hunters, maybe get ourselves a gunner. And make some money off of selling the stuff we just got. But hopefully you're enjoying this playthrough at the moment with all the magic that's going on. And we're finally hitting some good chain lightnings. Got some really good characters on our team. We got a temporary banner. So next episode we're definitely going to get the rally of troops to finish our ambition. And we got a cleaver girl. Everything's doing well. And yeah, just leveling up and being rich. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, catch you in the next one. See us.